Hey everybody, uh, here is our reading assignment for invasive species for week eight, and this is the read aloud, so please follow along with me if you are listening to this. Have you ever bought an animal from a pet store? If so, there's a good chance that you purchased an animal that is not native to your region. An invasive species is an organism that causes ecological or economic harm in a new environment where it does, is not native. It can be expensive to combat them, Invasive species aren't just pets bought from a pet store that escape, although it has happened before with the Burmese pythons. They can travel via many different means. These pesky pests can cause many problems in their new homes that must be dealt with in efficient and cost-effective ways. Many years ago, in the late 1800s, the United States government began trading for a species of fish called Asian carp. These fish were originally bought brought in to keep catfish farms clean, but eventually escaped into lakes and rivers during periods of widespread flooding. They began multiplying quickly and started eating food that native fish like largemouth bass and bluegills depend on. Oftentimes, the intent behind the introduction of invasive species is harmless, but its existence in its new habitat brings more negative consequences than intended. Because they're introduced to a new ecosystem, they often don't have any predators to keep their population down. And since they must eat, they begin destroying populations of species that become their prey. These invaders can travel from one spot to another in several effective ways. One way is via humans. The kuzu plant, for example, was brought to America for decoration from Japan. Local politicians and wildlife experts are often given the task of dealing with invasive species. Solutions to control these species can be expensive and economically training. For instance, the spotted lanternfish, which is native to China, has invaded Pennsylvania and is destroying trees, plants, and other objects that it lays its eggs in. The state funded $20 million to go towards removal of this species. That's a monumental amount of money to spend on bugs. Wow. Wow. Although many precautions are taken to stop the spread of invasive species, humans are still the biggest cause of the problem today. It only takes one person to bring a plant or animal to a place it doesn't belong for that spread to start. It's important that we continue to brainstorm ways to stop the spread of invasive species. It's a fight we, don't, we didn't know we would be fighting, but now we need to work together to stop the spread of plants and animals that don't belong. Okay, that's the reading. There's questions on the last page down here. Make sure to use your own words. And in the middle here are some examples of invasive species in Oregon, which you might think, that's crazy. Oregon? Yeah, it's true. Lots of things in Oregon that are invasive. So check it out. Thanks for listening.